Welcome back everyone. I'll go ahead and show you exactly how to set up a Spotify widget on really any iOS 14 device. Now this is unofficial and it's not really the best one out right now, but it's a good one. That's probably the best one out currently, but once Spotify makes their own, then that'll probably top this one. Now I saw this all over Reddit. I mean, it's all over the place. So shout out to everyone on Reddit posting all these things on iOS forums and iOS 14 and stuff, but hopefully we can go and people sign the petition for Spotify to go and officially release their own. But what you want to do is make sure you're up to date on iOS 14. Now once you're here, you want to go ahead and make your way into the App Store and you want to download this specific app called ToonTrack. Now very weird name, but it's stuck, but it kind of does the job. So you want to just type in ToonTrack and you want to download the one that's this one specifically. It has over however many reviews it has. It's this specific app. It's rated 2.7, so it's probably not the best one out, but it gets the job done for the most part. So once you go ahead and install it and it's good to go, you want to also make sure you're signed into Spotify. So download Spotify, install it, and put whatever account you want to on it, and then pretty much move on from there. So once you have Spotify installed and you have it logged in and everything, you want to go ahead and open the Tune Track app and you'll pretty much come to a page like this. Now, what you want to do is you can go ahead and look at whatever you want to, but you want to specifically look at the middle toggle, which is right here. You want to go and click on it. Now, you'll see the middle option, which is the Spotify option. So, you want to go ahead and click on here and it'll go ahead and put you into your Spotify thing. Now, in most cases, I already approved it, so it just automatically approved. But in most cases, you'll go into another page and you'll basically scroll down and click agree at the very bottom. And it's basically just, you know, authorizing Spotify to use that specific app or that app to use Spotify. So you just want to scroll down on the page and click agree. And then you'll come into this specific page. So once you're here, you're pretty much already good to go. What you want to do is you can go ahead and hop out of here. You want to make your way to the main screen. Then you want to swipe over. And you want to get into the widget panel so once you're here you want to go and click edit and then you want to click the plus button up there and then you'll come into this page and all you really need to do here is click on the new tune track app which is right here so you can go and click on here and then you'll come into this page now you want to scroll over and you want to get into the spotify widget which is right here so once you see that you want to go and click add widget it'll come over here and then you can go ahead and drag this to wherever you want to so in this case i'll go ahead and drag it to the main screen right here i'll go and click up now at this point, all you have to do is just play a song on Spotify. So let's say I go ahead and play this song. Now, it's not instantaneous. It does update, but it only updates every five minutes, which is one of its biggest caveats. And it's kind of annoying, but again, it's one of those things that you kind of have to kind of live for. As you can see, in this case, it was less than five minutes. So it just kind of updated immediately. But that is something to kind of keep in mind. So that's pretty much the process, as you can see. It gets the job done. It looks pretty good. You don't have to, you know, pay for anything unless you pay for Spotify. But again, apparently from what I've heard, Spotify is working on their own widget. So this gets the job done for now. But ultimately, it will be good once Spotify makes their own widget. You'll probably end up using that one. So that's really pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it would mean so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my main channel. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.